on your worst day, that could be the best day for you to meet and connect with someone amazing. And it should be. A lot of people think that they have to be in a great state or a great uh, mindset to be social or to meet someone that they could actually fall in love with or have a great adventure with. The reality is, is that's just not true. In fact, most of the great loves of my life I met when I was feeling uh, introverted or shy or my back hurt or I was tired or I was cranky or I just felt depressed of after two months of winter. But what one thing I did was is I took the risk to say hello and then I took the next risk to get personal. And also I brought a real thing called authenticity, which is how I am in this moment. And I brought that, so for example, let's pretend it's middle of winter and it's been dark and cold for six weeks and you're tired and you know you just feel it in your bones and you feel it and everyone in the city that you live in feels it and you go to the bookstore and you see a really beautiful girl and you, you somehow you, you just say hi to her and then she starts talking and she says how are you and you're like well you know it's been uh, six weeks of winter I haven't you know it's been cold every day um, I feel a little tired, a little cranky. Uh, the date I had last week stunk. But now that I see you, uh, life's looking pretty good. And then you smile, right? So you're being authentic, you're genuine, even on a shitty day. That's my note.